This is our new 300X Gen 2. What does Gen 2 mean? Because you all know the 300X been out for a while. What we did is we reworked the design of our compressor wheel, which is still a 7x7, but we changed the flow pattern a little bit. It's even lighter, will give you even quicker spool up. The next thing we did is some internal work on the compressor cover and on the backing plate. Again, all this is just to make the turbo more efficient. Going further down into the turbocharger's internals, the turbocharger still has our 360 internal bearings in it, which basically helps make the turbo more reliable and that you can enjoy the turbo a lot longer. We still have our wastegate mechanically actuated, so you will not have any problems with that. You don't need to adjust on anything. Those are good to go because the entire turbo, you can't forget that is 100% drop-in. You do not need to modify anything on the truck. You take your old turbo out, bolt this one in, done. Next thing I wanted to show you guys is why is it called the 300X? Because it has a 300 SXE style turbine wheel in it. So basically similar to your Borg Warner wheel, this is a 300 SXE style turbine wheel. So it gives you all the benefits you would normally have from a T4 drop-in. Another thing we always get asked, hey, why, why are those holes there? Well, there's two things. Honestly, they look good. It is, it is a nice feature and it helps with surging. So when you look close inside the turbo, you have this gap right here. So if you have air come pushing forward, the air actually escapes right here instead of reverse thrusting the, the wheel itself. Reverse thrusting is super bad for turbos. That's one way how the turbo just gonna last longer. All these turbos are gonna come in three different sizes. You have our stage one, our stage two, and stage three. All three will be 100% drop-ins. Now we go a little bit over the sizes. What size do you need for your truck? This is a stage one. The stage one is designed for bone stock trucks up to mildly upgraded trucks. The turbocharger supports up to 180-30s. is designed for heavy towing and high elevation. So no matter where you are, if you have a mildly upgraded truck or a completely stock truck, this turbo will work for you. There's no issues. Again, 100% drop in. The stage one is a 63-68 turbo, which that means is the compressor wheel is a 63 millimeter wheel smaller side. 68 means the turbine wheel is 68 millimeter and that's all the beauty. So every time you hear that reference like 63, 68, then you know what it compares to. The next step up from that is our stage two. The stage two is designed to basically be for the guy that daily drives a lot, tows on the weekend heavy, has a toy hauler, um, has upgraded injectors. That's going to be the stage two. The stage two supports up to 205.30s. You're looking roughly around a low 500 or high 400s, low 500 horsepower range. And it's a good all around turbo. The stage two is a 63-73 turbocharger. So again, 63 millimeter compressor wheel, 73 millimeter turbine wheel. That's all it is. So the biggest one will be our stage three. The stage three, is not designed for towing guys it is absolutely not designed for towing this the stage three is a turbo for the weekend warrior that goes drag racing with his truck that that just daily drives it is in low elevation with big injectors we're talking like 238 80s what is the maximum the turbo supports that's going to be your stage three the stage three as a 66 73 that is a behemoth it is a very, very large turbocharger for a stock truck. You do not want to have that on a stock truck. You do not want to buy a stage three if your truck is bone stock, just because you say, hey, look, it's not that much more money to just buy a stage three. It will not be beneficial for you guys. The last thing you're going to notice on our website is when you order the turbocharger, it's going to ask you for the AR size. And we get a lot of questions like, hey, what AR size do I need? So what the AR size refers to is a turbine housing. You have the options between a 0.84 and a 1.0. The beauty of it is you can fine tune your turbocharger for that. So if you, for example, have a very large nozzle injector like a 180-100, 180-80, you can get the larger housing that will clean up high, better on the top end. 
the tighter housing is going to be better for your daily driving and it's going to clean up on the bottom end. So spool up is important there too. The tighter housing will always spool up quicker. The 1.0 has the only benefit, let's say above 2,800, 3,000 RPM. That's where the 1.0 is gonna shine. If you mainly operate your truck on below the 3,000 RPM range, just do yourself a favor, get the 0.84.